right, guys. We over here in Texas. I done separated from JP. I'm in such bad shape that I had to get my man Travis Mini over there to help guide me. The man, look. I even had to take the man's hat. I showed up in my white hat. This dude is literally holding my hand. <laughs> he didn't told me just get over by this tree and sit down. <laughs> anyway, we in Texas. We in for the afternoon. See how it goes. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh man. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, my. One full spur. Oh, that's all right. We'll get him here in just a second. Golly, look at young. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. He still keeps it a little bit. Man, what beer? Nice little beer. Look at that. One spur. That's crazy. Uh, hey. Knocked that other one off on the rock, didn't he? <laughs> He took, I took, took the man's hat. <laughs> I didn't even show it with my own hat. Oh, I had a white hat. He said, just, just take mine. Take just mine. Take oh, man, I tell you what. We've called. We've called. And uh, what not? We heard a bird gobble behind us over there. Then we heard a bird gobble up here. And we saw three or four hens. And, <laughs> and all of a sudden, he just come over top of the hill. I said, it's after 7 o'clock, man. I don't know. He's like, man, we just sit here. He just kept coming, finally. I had to actually reach around you, and I was trying to get the barrel past your ear. You know, I didn't want no trouble, so finally he was like, there he is. <laughs> uh, but I had to let him know we was there. I had to go, meow, meow, meow. <laughs> oh, man, but anyway, oh, I sure appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yes, Thank sir. You so much. Oh, man. Oh, hey, check this out. What's he got right there? Look at that. He has warts on him or something. I don't know what it is. Huh. Oh, well. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. Yeah, I so appreciate it. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful bird. Beautiful bird. All right, we'll get ourselves together and then we'll talk a little bit on the way back to the truck. Come on. Absolutely, bro. <laughs> yeah. We've got to get our stuff together. But y'all know this is my favorite part right here. We take a little long beer by the feet. Throw him on that shoulder. It ain't nothing but to walk out. Come on. <laughs> that last hour we get some come on <laughs> er, er, er. right here <laughs> <laughs>
like it. Oh, man. Ain't nothing like it. Oh. That song's on right. Y'all done seen a man in Turkey go down. But it is a blessing. It is a blessing. We, we, I'm talking mess and not trying to be egoistic, but I'm just having a good time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, God. I got a lot of help. I gotta have a little help getting them up. I got so much equipment here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, nah. Ain't nothing but the walk out. Come on. Go and tell it on the mountain. Over the hills and everywhere I go. Tell it on the mountain. The Jesus Christ is born. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. We got a fork in the road. Straight ahead. <laughs> Man, yeah. Speaking of fork, does that mean fried turkey breast tonight? Ooh, probably gonna have to. Ain't, gonna, ain't nothing gonna be open around here. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be 10 o'clock before I get back home. Oh. Okay. I was, uh, like I said, we was having a hard time at the other ranch. And then uh, got on Facebook and started telling people. You know, I need some help. <laughs> y'all, y'all need some help finding some turkeys. And uh, old Travis put it on us. We found them. Found one anyway. An old, an old soldier with his one hook set. No, I'm gonna give you a hat back when you get back to the truck. Oh, that's a good thing because I have my lucky hat. <laughs> ain't got no misses in it for I, the last three years. I ain't had no misses. I ain't no misses. Man, I reached around you. You, he was saying, just go ahead, go ahead, shoot. Oh, I know what was coming. I, <laughs> I was trying to reach forward, get that, get that gun barrel past his ear hole. And uh, he's smoking. And he's a double beard. He he's got a long beard. He's got about a one incher. And uh, still counts. Still counts. <laughs> they grow it, I count. That's right, that's right. Oh. There's a pickup. Yeah, we, we calling turkeys and Axe's butt was coming up. Here we go. Oh, See right there. That ain't them sports injuries. That's from toting all them turkeys out all them years. Got my elbows weak. <laughs> Amen to that, brother. Woo! Thank you, Lord Jesus. But yeah, I'll show, show that, that beard real quick. See if we can get him in the light. Well, it's going to take a little light to see it, but it's in there. It's in there. All right, we got a thick one. Where you at, boy? Up in front. Was it in front? No. Uh -huh. All right, I got my gloves on. Let you do it. I can't, it's too little. I can't find it. Hey. Yes, sir, right there. Look at that. Just a wee wee. Woo. When he come over that hill. He was like, there he is. There he is. And he's like, I think he's a Jake. And I was looking through there. I was like, I think he got a beard. I think he got a beard. He got a beard. And then he went down in a dip. He went down in that dip and he didn't ever come out forever. And he's like, you might have to hit him with that yawk yawk. And I was moving that collar around in my mouth. And by that time I said, uh-uh. <laughs> he done popped up like, what, 30 yards to the left or so? He done, I said, uh-uh. He's like, I'm on him. I'm ready. Oh. Back in the truck at yeah. 733. That's his lucky hat right there. That's right. No misses. Even, <laughs> even with you shooting that Mississippi boy. I'm coming back battle. in with that y'all, y'all know. That thing fit down on that head, cover that forehead. Come on. Made a loop right here. This is where the turkey come from. We saw him come off the top of this hill right here. When he stood on top of this hill, then he went down in this the valley to us. I don't know what they call it out here. <laughs> a draw, a canyon. <laughs> he come right got down here. If we didn't know, that's when he said something about y'all, y'all. 
and then the bear showed up right over there by that windmill. Uh, smoke rolled him. Hello, brother. How are you? What's the name of this place? Three B's. Three B's. And what town are we in? Blackwood, Texas. Blackwell, Texas. The man, the man had to buy my dinner because I got like a two, I got a two-hour ride back to where to my camp, and uh, I ain't got my wallet, no cash. So the man put me on turkeys and buy my dinner. Come on, let's see if he'll clean this bird for me too. <laughs> y'all just don't know how safe y'all are out there. Cause if it was up to me, it'd be over with. Pig running, you better run. There he is right there. Two brothers ranch. You want it done, come on down here and get your son. There's a beast right there. What's your name? Drake. Drake. The man right here that put me on the turkey bird. Yes, sir. So talk about it. Somebody wanted to book a hunt with you. Yes, sir. Just get on Facebook and uh, send us a message at Two Brothers Ranch. Two Brothers Ranch. Yes, you're on Facebook. and uh, uh, Or you can get on my leather page, TBRM Leatherworks, on Facebook. You do Leatherworks is yes, what he sir. does. So if y'all like any kind of leather stuff, oh, you just that, That's the easiest way. Is if, you, if you message the page, it comes directly to us. and Because, okay. you know, as you, as you well have learned, <laughs> you ain't got good service out here. <laughs> yeah. I, I told him, I said, you got Wi-Fi at your house? He said, yeah. I said, well, I'm going to need it to put my GPS back going in my truck for, for, so I can get back to the other camp. Oh, man. Well, yeah. Man, I, buddy, I sure appreciate it. Thank, Thank you so much. Time. Yes, sir. I appreciate Look, you, sir. That's all I'm I told my wife I want one of them for the house, but she realized it was a cow. She said, no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hear JP calling down there. I slept in this morning, this next morning. But I can hear JP. And then while ago I just heard so I'm hoping maybe, maybe he can get close enough to kill him. He's down there. On the other end of all of that. Maybe those taller trees back there. Get back on that. I can hear him so Come on, Lord. Help old JP out. Yeah! Come here. Come, come, come. Looks like we gotta get the grass cut. We've been out of town for a while, ain't we? What about that old shaggy dog? Come here. Come here. Come here. All right, y'all can see I'm back in town. Back from Texas in Mississippi, and the show don't stop. Me and JP rolled all night long. I got home here about midnight last night, and then JP left and got home probably around one. And uh, man, knocking down turkeys. Part of this video you didn't see, and we'll talk about it later, I saw Mr. Melvin in Texas. On the way back through, we stopped and had dinner uh, at the Jalapeno Tree, I believe it was. And we'll talk about that later. But right now, I gotta go do some hog stuff, check on some beaver stuff. Show don't stop just cause we got back into town. Let's roll. Boys, when you gut animals in Mississippi and these buzzers show up, do you see all the white? All that white all over that? Puking, crapping, or whatever they do. All that white. The buzzer's been in here. I was telling you. It is, uh... That's what becomes nasty. That's what becomes so nasty at your hunting stand or, or whatever you're, you're doing. Your hog trap. So that's why I don't gut or anything there. So, had to... Conf uh, <sighs> sorry for not being just so energetic. Like I said, it was a late night and a long 12 hours on the road, but... 
anyway that's just some of the reasons and i know it's like well that ain't that bad you know far as what it looks like but it reaps it is nasty it is it smells so anywho oh man. well guys i'm down here to trap gonna put some corn in there i had been looking for my model 60 marlin i thought during my trip i just took it out and put it in my other truck And it's raining. And it's raining. But this is why I love my old Marlin 60. I'm so forgetful I left it out in the woods. We call it irresponsible forgetfulness, Alzheimer's, lazy, call it whatever you want to. Fact of the matter is, I'll clean that gun up and we'll be right back to head knocking. Caught this pig Monday, that last big boar hog Monday. And today is Friday. Don't make it right, and I ain't trying to make it anything it is or ain't but i forgot it right there you can see the old gun imprint where it was dry covering the rain anyway y'all tear me up on it. tell me how to clean that thing i'm just gonna use hillco spray spray her down and let her rock but i still don't like doing that well it seems as though we do have a beaver issue Oh, this is the next day. Uh, I've been lazy and I'm tired today, so I come over here to check today. And I'm gonna, I got my beaver stuff ready, and uh, we're gonna set some traps right there and see if we can't get this thing. Oh, see if we can't get this thing figured out. But uh, they got this stopped up, and if you got beavers, they're gonna stop up everything else. And I just tell everybody, you know, a lot of people's like, "Why are you trapped the beavers? The beavers not harming anybody. The beavers are cute." Look, man, it's just easy for y'all to go Google wild hog issues of Mississippi and beaver issues of Mississippi <laughs> so, than it is to tell every single body. But anyway, they're nuisance animals in Mississippi, and we have to uh, keep those numbers at bay. So anyway, I'm Trapper. I'm going to apologize for it. These beavers, they better move on. Or we're going to have them trapped. So anyway, let me get my stuff on. Let's get some water moving, son. So we want to be real careful because if you're not careful, you I mean you could have snakes in this. This could sink down. I know how deep this is supposed to be. This could really sink down to where you could really get stuck. But we want to pull this out a little bit. Get some water started. That's all we want to get it started first. Once we get it started, okay, we don't want a whole lot. We just want enough to, for beaver action, basically. I mean, it'll get started in a move. It's kind of early after lunchtime. Oh. Let me go around this other side. Oh. I was in here last night. I can see the fresh piles right here, you know. We'll get these sticks and stuff out of here best we can. Just want to get the water started. They're gonna hear it. We're gonna set that trap right here somewhere. Hopefully, get caught. Come up here to fix it. Push that kind of out of the way. Give me a little spot made out right here for the. Give me a little, get some of this junk out of the way. I'm gonna get as many of these sticks running down there so they don't get in the trap. 
all that'll wash on through. Gonna put that trap probably about right here somewhere somewhere he put his foot down on it I'm gonna strike out all the grass and stuff sticks we'll get ready to put that trap in there ah chain he gets caught he'll have to stay back over this way so. might set another one over there might set another one over there Well, if you just saw the drop, and now you see the gates, you know that the head knocking away. Let's unlock this thing, go in here and get this hog and get out. <sighs> Maybe the same old thing, but I'm a winner at this game. Come on. Two mag today, y'all saw where I left my 22 down here the other day. Oh, somebody said, what kind of hunter leaves their gun behind? <laughs> kind of got stuff on his mind and trying to entertain y'all at the same time. Oh, I'm just so forgetful, but I got 22 mag. Uh, not because I can't use a 22, but because oh, I forgot it in my, I put everything in my Toyota the other day for me and my wife to go out. And then I had grabbed this yesterday uh, when I went and set beaver traps so. up. Oh, I hear him. I hear him already. Put him there. Doesn't seem to be. Oh, what do you say? Are very aggressive towards me, I guess. Yeah. Just seems to. Won't knock it. But anyway, just nice little hole. Nice little hole.
is just young hog. Looks to be a thing. I mean, it's a boar hog, but it's not a big one like the other one. It's just a young boar hog. But see, it's calmed down a little bit. It's calming down just a little bit. <sighs> He don't want much action, so anyway, he can't get this dude knocked down. I want to come in here real quick, show you something. Oh, my knees. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I had to edit out. I forgot that there was blood in the trap, and I wanted to show you something. So look right here where the hog dug down. You can see actually how far he had actually dug down. And a lot of people are always asking me, like, can they not dig out from under it? Dig out from under it. Well, they're not dogs. They're just rooters. And uh, what happens a lot of time, we'll cover up a little blood there. Oh, uh, what happens a lot of time is they come in here, and this is this is real soft dirt right here on this end. Uh, it was a lot harder over there, but it's real soft dirt, and he just kept rooting down, rooting down, rooting down. But they can't, for say, you know, they can't for say dig, you know, because you got to make sure, you know, to dig something digs out, it has to be able to get enough to get its head up under there and keep digging, scratching. So he can't root that far past there. To get out but you can but you can see they can get on down pretty low so you see he got it down pretty good there but uh but not to say that you know he couldn't root enough and then like a little piglet or something get out but anyway i just want to show you that thought that was pretty cool so i'm gonna get this hog and i'm gonna try to drag it down to the water get his head cleaned up but he's a pretty good hog Pretty good hole. So. Yeah. Oh, well. I'm gonna drag his hog over here in the water. Drag his hog right over there. Drag his head. Ooh, it's muddy. Might have been a bad idea. <laughs> I know it's some water over here somewhere. I don't know if it's the one I caught or not. We'll have to find out and see, I reckon. We'll have to find out. I'm gonna wash the head off that dude real quick. And uh, so we can show him off a little bit. Yeah. This dude turn around. We can't get him loaded up.
Good little hog, eh? Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Another hog down. One thing I gotta figure out is this, these hog tracks I'm seeing right here. Just gotta figure out if that's another hog or not. So anyway, just reset and oh, let's get out of here. Well, more gates. Hopefully we caught some beavers. Maybe I'm gonna drive my truck on in there. Move this in I might drive my truck on in there and uh, whatnot and see if I can get a little head knocking going on. Down here. Well. Looking. Ah. All right, chain's going that way in the water. There's two things that happen. Whether I got a miss or you drown. Check it out here in just a second. Look over here, I had reset one. I had set one over here. And we got a trap gone there too. So we could possibly have one in there or another miss. <sighs> oh, crap. All right, let's go get our stuff in game. I can get some tears in this. Ah. Whoa, ho, 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 Oh, I thought I had a miss, but I didn't. I got a beaver on here. Golly. Oh, my goodness. Just by the toe. Golly. How did I get so blessed and lucky on that one? Golly. Look at that. <laughs> Big beaver. Big nice beaver. I'm talking about just by the toes. Golly. Oh, man. I'm telling you. Trap off of him. I mean, it is. Oh, he's caught right there. Off the mouth. Just don't get much luckier than that. Just by the toes. And he drowned. That is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Big nice beaver. Big nice. Yes, sir. Right over here. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Another beaver. Front wild catch. Awesome. Two beaver right here. Yeah. Oh, oh man. All right. Well, let me get this. Let's see. See, and y'all didn't see this yesterday, but I had put a caster mound set right there and uh, on that drowning rod, I already had a trap that was there from the last trapping job. So, uh, caught that beaver in that caster mound set. And then I just caught this one on the dam set and uh, on that chain. And what that chain does, the reason I put it on that chain and I drown a set is because that ground is so mucky, it won't hold down. So you just, you, you can drive the stake over here, but I'm not gonna reset this today. I got some events I gotta go in South Alabama uh, around Enterprise uh, next couple of days. So I'm not gonna reset here. I got things I need to do tomorrow. So, uh, so anywho, I'm gonna get some pictures, but I am gonna get this water flowing a little bit more and see if more beavers come in and dam it up. And then if they do, then I'll reset. But I'm gonna leave it like it is for just now. And uh, like I said, we're gonna get that water flowing a little bit more and get these beavers loaded up and my dog really loves those tails on them things so 
Uh, I might take a few tails home for a let her chew on. Plus that oil kind of cleans them out a little bit. It's trickling through there, but we want to get it moving pretty good. Get it back down to the level it's supposed to be. But had to be careful on this old muck. I think those beavers, this was all the way down to the bottom of the cover, and they just come in here in like a week when they moved in and just dammed all this back up. There we go. A bunch of sticks in here. Just gotta get out of the way. Here we go. And the reason I feel like it's just a mating pair, and I may be wrong, a new mating pair that moved in. It's because even though they got caught, nothing redowned it back up last night. So if that's the is that if that's the mating pair, and that's all it was, hopefully. But you never know. And they'll just keep coming up out of these bottoms. Which is good because they're not down in there chewing on timber. They come up here, I'm able to catch them. That water running, it'll just cut a ditch in there. And eventually all this will move out. Yeah, that water moves. That stuff moves a lot easier once that water gets to moving. Yeah. Thing is, if you don't catch them out, you can bust these beaver down, spend hours. They'll just come in at night and stop it back up. There we go, now it's moving. They had rocks and everything up in there. Come a little trench right there. That water will hit a cut. <sighs> Water's flowing. Flowing good. Whew, my goodness gracious. Oh, time for a drink. Oh. There's some good beavers right there. Good beavers. Glad to got them. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed the turkey action, the beaver action, and the uh, hog action. And hey, give it a thumbs up. Go to yachtyacht.com. Help a brother out. But like and subscribe. Tell your friends about the yacht yacht. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate your support. So y'all know how it goes from my trailer hood to yours. Y'all have a good one. God bless and is up. Hey!
Hey, Jesus loves you. Arr!